Happy Holidays! Just in time for the holiday season, I present to you what teachers are thankful for. Ting! Parents, it's greatly appreciated when you tell us you don't have money for art fees or instrumental rental fees, but we see your kids spending at least $5 every day at the snack bar buying cookies, hot Cheetos, and Takis. Thanks. Administrators. <laughs> it's one of our favorite things when you come in for an unannounced walkthrough and you stay all of like five minutes, but later on you give an official evaluation where you remark on all the pedagogy and instructional strategies that you did not see and you wish you had seen. <laughs> Teachers really appreciate that. Oh, we love it. Parents, we love it when you give us old, disconnected, or just flat out false numbers so we can't reach you in case of emergencies or if we're having behavioral issues with your child. Thanks for being so easy to contact. Administrators. <laughs> We love it when you preach at us about how we need to make our classrooms fun and exciting, how we need to teach multiple ways to reach multiple intelligences, <laughs> how we need to stand on one arm and shoot fire out of our rectum, do whatever it takes to make the classroom fun, to reach the children. We got to do whatever, whatever it, takes. it takes. But in professional development, you stand there for two hours and talk, just talk. Just talk, just talk. For two hours straight. Thank you for practicing what you preach. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Hypocrisy is a great model of instruction. <laughs> Thanks. Students, we love it when you talk while we're giving directions or modeling how to do something, but then later on you say you don't know what to do. We just love repeating ourselves over, over, and, over, and, over and over and over and over, and over, and over again, again because, because you're, not, you're listening. not listening. Thank you for that. We appreciate <laughs> when you try to turn in all your missing assignments from the whole semester, the day before grades go in for report cards. That's so considerate of you. Principals, um, we really appreciate when we send a child to the office for disrupting class and then like 10 minutes later, you send them right back to class with a lollipop, a Coke, and a smile. That really teaches kids to respect teachers' authority. Uh, and it really ensures that teachers will come back and teach in your building next year. Thanks for the support. Ting. It's wonderful when principals tell teachers that they should be more understanding of misbehavior because kids will be kids <laughs> that we should look past their faults and see their needs it's wonderful when principals say that but as soon as, soon as the kids disrespect you the principal in the way that they disrespect your teachers you suspend the kid for two weeks straight thanks for giving me humongous class sizes I really appreciate these classes with like 30 plus kids. It's really easy to track the learning of that many students in one class period. It's like so exciting. Um, and I really, really appreciate, I'm so thankful for how you keep adding more kids to classes that already have more than 30 students. We're in there like packed tight like chips in a Pringles can. It, it, we can't even move, we can't even breathe, all right? And you just keep adding more kids. You know, teachers love having huge class sizes that are just so easy to manage. We love feeling like we're about to have a stroke running around trying to manage all those students at one time. <laughs> so thanks for that.